everybody, Delaney here with the Biosphere. Today we're going to be planting the vegetable garden beds outside the Biosphere office and we wanted to show you what we were going to do. We're going to start by pulling all the weeds out that have come up this spring. We're going to turn the soil over and we're going to add some of this composted manure. Now that we've turned over the top layer, layer of soil in the gardens, we've also added a layer of composted manure. That composted manure is going to feed the soil and therefore feed the plants all summer long. Now, the other thing we've done is we've made this garden plan. So we've mapped out which plant varieties we're going to put where. And that's because some plants really like to be next to each other and some plants do better if they're spaced further apart. For instance, these tomatoes are going to do a lot better and even taste better if we plant them next to basil. Now, the other thing that we've done is we've made labels. Although it's easy to think that we might remember where we put seeds or which variety of plant is which, it's actually more easy to forget. So we want to be sure to label everything as soon as we put it in the garden. So we're going to put our labels and we're going to put our seedlings down where they go and then we'll get ready to dig. Now that we've laid everything out in the garden, we know where it's going to go. It's time to start putting some plants in the soil. So to do this, I've got some seedlings. These are tomato seedlings. It might seem a, a little intimidating to get them out of here at first, but there is an easy way. I've soaked them in some water. This is gonna help the soil stick to their roots so there's less root damage or disturbance when we pull them out. You never wanna pull directly on the stem. You might break it. So after they've been watered, give it a wiggle, give it a pinch, put your fingers around all the stems and then you can turn it upside down Maybe give it a poke, give it a little shake, and you see they just want to come right out when you do that, like that. So for our tomatoes, I've dug a hole here. All of our seedlings that we're going to put in the ground, the first thing I'm going to do in the bottom of the hole is put a little bit of that composted manure right underneath it. That's going to give it a great head start at life. I'm going to give the bottom of the roots a little tickle. I wouldn't do this for every plant. For instance, cucumbers really hate to have their roots disturbed, but for tomatoes, they can handle it. The next thing I'll do is I'll put a little bit of water right in that manure. We don't wanna make it difficult for these guys. We wanna give them the best shot at life. This hole too, I should mention, it's only about as deep as my fingers. Uh, in the instance of tomato, they have a special little technique where all these little hairs on the stem can actually grow into roots. It's called advantageous roots. So in the case of the tomato, we actually want that to happen. If you've ever grown tomatoes, they tend to be top heavy once they start fruiting. So a big solid root system is really important. Now that I've got my water and my manure in the hole, I'm gonna stand my tomato seedling in, push the soil around, and I'm actually gonna bury it uh, all the way up to the first set of leaves. Like I mentioned, all those little hairs are gonna become roots. You Really, you don't want to squish the roots. You don't want to compact it too tight, but you can give it a little bit of a press, just like that, a little pack. And then we're gonna go around everything that we put in. We'll give it a good soaking too, a good dose of water. And that's it. We've just put our first plant in the soil. Our plants are now in the ground and we're going to turn to seeds. We've got some carrot seeds here. We're gonna do a row of carrots. And the first thing I did is make a small trench for my carrots and I took the water and I poured the water down. Whatever kind of seeds you're planting, it, the first thing you should do is very important is to read the instructions because different seeds require different things. As a general rule of thumb, the smaller the seed is, the more shallow you'll want to plant it. So you can see that these carrot seeds, they're very small, they're very tiny, put them right in the ground versus something like these beet seeds. These are a lot bigger. Now these beet seeds, they can go a little bit over a centimeter into the ground, but the carrot seeds, they're only gonna go a couple of millimeters into the ground. Uh, some of the bigger seeds that you'll see are things like peas and beans. You could even put them uh, a centimeter and a half in the ground. You don't wanna put things too deep because you don't wanna make it challenging for them to find their way to the surface. So always read the instructions and get as close as you can. So we've got our trench. We'll sprinkle some seeds all along it. So once we've got our carrot seeds the whole way, the whole length of the row, we'll just take the amount of soil that's set on the instructions, so just a couple millimeters. 
we'll sprinkle it on top of those seeds. So now our vegetable beds are completely planted with all of our seedlings. We've also put all of the seeds in the ground. Um, we've given everything a really good soaking. Uh, we want it to be well watered, especially with rain not always uh, dependable in the forecast. The other thing we did was we sprinkled some more compost on top. When you sprinkle compost around the rows and around the plants, that's called a side dressing. And it's sort of like a, a slow release, a slow um, uh, infusion of nutrients later on as your plants grow. So we're gonna keep it well watered. The only other thing we're gonna do is add a layer of uh, crushed up leaves, shredded up leaves, and that's gonna act like a mulch. That'll help hold the moisture in the soil as the plants start to grow. And that's it. We've planted our garden beds at the Biosphere office. So if you're interested in learning more about anything that we've done here, the companion planting, or planting the seeds, or transplanting the uh, seedlings, you can look on our website, www.gbbr.ca slash gardens, and there you'll find the Seed to Soil Gardening Guide. It explains everything we've talked about and much more in more detail. So tune back in down the road later in the summer, and uh, 